All right, today I've got our newest single barrel pick, and this is actually a Bourbon World pick that will be at lots of different stores. And this is Nulu. This is our non-chill filter, four and a half year old, 21% MGP cask strength single barrel. So 116.6 proof, four and a half years old, non-chill filtered, and um, I'm very familiar with this recipe. Uh, this 21% rye recipe is fantastic straight bourbon whiskey. Um, it tends to produce a nice balance of sweetness to spice, um, but there is a variation between barrels, and that's what makes it so interesting. So let's try this. Uh, New Lou's been in the market for a little bit, um, but still relatively small craft brand, and uh, I have to give it to them kudos for the almost impossible wax seal to open. I had to, I had to, I had to pull it with my teeth and then break out the knife and finally popped it open. So um, the bourbon is well protected under, under the wax seal. So I kind of have a love hate relationship with wax. It's like what, you know, for some brands, I just don't like, you know, I want to open the bourbon, not keep it closed, but I get the aesthetic part. So anyway, let's take a look at the juice here. Okay, so on the nose, cinnamon toast crunch. Um, definitely like a fig fig thing going on, dark fruit. Apple pie I get. I get almost like a lemon yogurt aroma. But definitely that big first hit of cinnamon toast crunch. Again, uh, it's got that nice little sweetness to it, but just, just a hint of the spice from the cinnamon. All right, and 116 proof, uh, it's not closed off. Again, it's nice and open. Uh, I've only had it here in the glass for just a second, so uh, it's nice and open aroma. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Soft apple. Um, butterscotch, toffee, vanilla sweetness, but then really quick transitions into like a tropical fruit and then a leather and then that cinnamon baking spice comes back on the finish. So starts out really like orchard fruit soft and then you get the, the sweetness of the butterscotch and the vanilla and the toffee and then it kind of re-spices back up through the palate onto the finish. So, um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic uh, it's a fantastic whiskey. It really tastes great. It casts strength. Um, you know, they're a little pricey, but um, you're going. You know, the deliverable is really high, meaning high, high quality, sweet, spicy, great profile, Indiana distillate. Um, at cast strength, so and non-chill filtered. So really, what you're tasting here is exactly what it tastes like if you tap the barrel. They're probably only using like a very, very broad like micron filter. So the only thing that's not in here is like the little the little char pieces. But that's it. This is exactly what the bourbon's going to taste like out of the barrel. So it'll cloud up if you put an ice cube in it, which is fine. That's all those oils just getting released. But um, yeah, you know these. I still think these are a great value. And if anybody doesn't think that, you know, MGP isn't one of the greatest distilleries in the world right here in our backyard in Indiana, um, you know, you're, you're crazy because this stuff is so high quality, so consistently good every time um, that, you know, when you see something like this, single barrel, non-chill filtered, cast strength, you know, you ought to, you ought to bounce on it because I know for a fact that that liquid is getting more and more rare and at some point, you know, it may not even be on the market, who knows, but, um, but when you do get an opportunity to taste one of these, you should go for it because it really is fantastic. All right, cheers.